Now joining us via Skype is Melanie Weehongi Popham. She has been voted most inspirational teacher of the year. Congratulations. Thank you. That's kind of a big deal. And 17,000 votes were cast and you came out on top. Well done. Thank you. So how does the whole voting work? Who I nominated have no you? idea. Honestly, I was told that there was a nomination process and then after that, there was a cutoff period then voting. Um, and one of the parents who nominated me um, just kept me in, in tune with what was going on while I was busy teaching. So I had no idea what was going on. So you didn't bribe all your students with lollies or anything like no, that? No, no, <laughs> no. Don't bribe room seven. They're just amazing. So they described you as dedicated, sorry, dedicated, creative and caring. How does it feel to hear all those lovely things about you? Oh, it, it feels the best. Absolute, the, absolutely the best. And what did you do when you found out? Um, I cried. I cried quite a bit. Oh, and you teach at Maidor Intermediate, is that right? I do teach at Maidor, Room 7, Team Corfi. Hi, Room 7. What are the kids like there? They're wonderful kids. They really are. What? Each one of them. All 30 of them. Oh, and what do you love about teaching? What I love about teaching is that every day is a new day. Each child brings a new vibe into my classroom. I just can't wait to get up and get on my car and get into the classroom. And Aww. that's the honest truth. Oh, you would be the best teacher. And so now that you've been voted most inspirational teacher of the year in New Zealand, do you have that on a mug in the staff room? Like, have you started to kind of, you know, throw your weight around? Not quite, not quite. But as you know, I've got most inspiring teacher on my Skype name. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, claim that. Well, we know you're an amazing teacher and you teach a lot to your students, but we want to know how much you've learnt from them. So we've got, oh, a bit, no. <laughs> we've got a bit of a pop quiz for you. Have you got anyone there to help you? You're your no, own. I'd better have someone to help me because I'm hopeless. <laughs> All right, well, we've got five questions for you. The first one is how many members in One Direction? How many members in one direction? Five. I know that. That's right. Okay. Well, uh, name one of Taylor Swift's ex-boyfriends. Um, the... Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal is right. Whoever's with you there knows the answer yeah. to that. Okay. What country is Justin Bieber from? Canada. Yes. Um, what TV show did Miley Cyrus start on? Um... Oh, Hannah Montana, I knew that. You didn't have to help me. <laughs> and your last question is, what street name in Christchurch is one of New Zealand's best boy bands named after? Street bands, Christchurch. Tell me. Titanium? Not the, no, it can't be Titanium. <laughs> Well, I have no idea. It's okay, it's, it's me on that one. Morehouse, named after Morehouse. Morehouse, Ave. Morehouse. And you did, you actually did really well. We're going to send you out a 4.30 show, watch Miss Wee Hongi Poppin. Thank you so much for playing and keep going out there and inspiring kids. Thank you so much, Evie. You have a great afternoon. I will now, thank you. Oh, I feel like I deserve a gold star. Thank you for that. Bye. Oh, Bye. She was so nice. Very lucky if she's your teacher. Shout out to uh, Maro Intermediate.